Hey guys, I'm coming to you with another video on why set your goals. There are actually two reasons why I want to do this video. Number one is because before we actually reach our next level of fitness, before we actually become the strongest version of ourselves, we should set some goals and reach them. Secondly, I've been on Facebook and Twitter like all of you guys, you know, and I've read a couple of statuses, comments and tweets and, and it goes like something like that. Um, I, I don't expect much. I think it's good enough. And this two phrases really hit me real hard because I feel that each and every one were born into this world with so much potential. We were born into this world to make things happen and yet people are out there, you know, just want, wanting to live mediocre lives. Personally, I feel that, you know, there's so much more that we can do rather than, you know, just living life as it is. As, as it is. So, you know, I, I've actually gathered a couple of tips which I use and I hope this will really help and impact and change the minds of those um, who think that life should be mediocre. Number one will be setting SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, accountable, realistic, and within a time frame. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people already know what are SMART goals, but let me just briefly run through for those for the benefit of those who don't. So um, S will be specific goals. Like, for example, if you want to lose weight, what kind of weight do you want to lose? Do you want to lose muscle or do you want to lose fat? And M, it has to be measurable. You want to lose 5 kg or do you want to lose 10 kg? And now we come to A, the most important one, which I feel is the most important one of all, accountability. You see, a lot of times why we fall short of our goals is because we don't have people that run the race together with us. A lot of times we run this race ourselves and it can be really, really tough and, you know, we just give up. You know, by having a few friends, a few good friends or a few people that shares the similar goal as you or those people that can push you for your breakthrough will definitely be essential for you to run this race and to re reach this goal. So if we want to reach our goals, we got to be accountable for. People got to be accountable for our goals. We got to share our goals. Hey, you know, I want to gain 10 kg in three months can you help me with it can you help me stay accountable to my diet plans to my training plans you know after after which running this race will not be as hard because all of us know that unity is power that will bring me to r and t i personally i feel that r and t really comes hand in hand because we've got to set goals that are realistic and within a time frame i want to gain eight kgs in one day I want to lose 10 kg in one day. Man, no, 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 no. That is impossible, man. We got to set goals that are realistic. Maybe 5 kg in three weeks. That will be a very good goal that is realistic. So you see, R and T comes hand in hand. Another thing that I'd like to add on to T is that, you know, whenever we set goals like this, they are actually long-term goals. But what are we actually doing day in, day out? Are we setting short-term goals to reach them? Uh, personally, you know, I actually have these two notebooks which I write things in. Um, you see, I, I write like, you know, what I want to do day in day out, what I, what I have done and things like that. And, you know, this really helped me um, reach my goals because you know that long-term goals is like knowing your destination, but we need to plan our route to get there. If we do not plan our route, you know, we might take a longer time or we might get lost um, when we're, we're going towards the journey. So what we actually do is we need to set short-term goals so that we can reach our long-term goals. Knowing is not enough. We must do. Yes, we, after knowing our goals, we've got to write them down. One technique that I recently learned from the net is writing down in present tense. What this actually does is it taps into our subconscious mind and it makes us feel that reaching our goals will be easier and not a grueling process. What we normally do is I want to reach... 60 kg by the end of December. You know, what this actually does is it makes us feel that we have to go through a process and we don't even know whether we can reach that goal. But instead of saying that, we, we say that I am 60 kg by the end of December. What this actually does is it helps us feel that, hey, going through each and every painful workout will benefit me and I will reach that 60 kg goal. So guys, before I end this video, I really hope that you guys learned something and can bring away something from this video. Oh yeah, so let me post the challenge to you. If you would like me to be accountable for your goals, post them down in the comment section below or send me a Facebook message. 
I know that after watching this video, there will only be one or two people who set their goals. But let me post a challenge to you. Send me your goals and I'll be accountable for you. So till next time, see you guys.